So Mohammed is asking about podcasts I recommend and says that he likes Joe Rogan. Now, Joe Rogan is probably the most, is definitely the most popular podcast in the world. I would recommend podcasts to those of you who are already pretty good at listening and are ready to challenge yourselves. These are usually long for form discussions on various topics, and there's a lot of localized, colloquial, regional stuff because they're not they're not speaking to you. They're speaking to native English speakers, and they often will abbreviate things and shorten things and speak quickly. And for Joe Rogan, sometimes he's high on mushrooms. He's sometimes he's he's smoking weed or jittery on coffee. And so it's a huge range of different things. He'll talk to musicians. He'll talk to scientists. He'll talk to MMA fighters. It's a broad range. So, yeah, generally speaking, I would rec recommend watching Joe Rogan if you can understand about 60% of it and it's a challenge and you want to work on your listening. Sure. If you're at that level, what else would I recommend? I personally, this is just personal, I like the Lex Friedman podcast. Now, that one is probably more challenging than Joe Rogan. There are a lot of technical guests that he interviews. He may interview, for example, Stephen Wolfram. Uh, he may he may interview uh, what's the what's the physicist's name? Um, uh, David, what is his name? I can't remember his name right now. The physicists, scientists, biologists, artificial intelligence specialists, right? So it's technical. It's more technical. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, technology science, artificial intelligence, then maybe try that one out. It is more challenging. And then the other one, I do sometimes listen to a, a very silly podcast. So if you want to more get a sense for the memes and culture and stuff that's popular on the internet now, and you want to get it in a way that's funny, and I think not mean, but, but just interesting and nice, there is, this is how I get my pop culture. There's a podcast called the H3 podcast. It's called H3. H, the letter H, and 3. So the reason I listen to that podcast is because I do want to know what's going on in the world. I want to know what the cool kids are doing, you know, but I don't want to, I don't want to experience those things directly. <laughs> I don't want to spend time uh, watching a bunch of, uh, you know, dumb YouTubers. I don't want to watch Logan Paul make his videos. So I would rather get it through uh, the H3 podcast because I like the people on that podcast. And it's nothing too technical or serious. It's very fun, very goofy, very serious, very non-serious uh, content. So that would be a good one as well. Those are probably the ones I listen to most. Rogan, uh, H3 and Lex Friedman. Oh, and sorry, there is one more. I have to say one more. If you're interested in history, there is a must, 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 must podcast. I'm sure you probably already know it. It's very famous. It's called Hardcore History. The guy who makes them, he only puts, his name is Dan Carlin. He only puts out podcasts every six months because it takes him that long to make a three hour podcast. So they're incredibly rich, detailed, and interesting. So if you're interested in history, I would strongly recommend Dan Carlin's Hardcore History. That is fantastic. And um, uh, right now he's doing a series on World War II from the perspective of the Japanese. And it's amazing. It's great. So those are the four. Those are the four. All right, guys. If you have any other questions about this, let me know. Don't forget to hit the like button. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already and check out the full courses on sale in the links in the description.